please take over things done well and with a care exempt themselves from fear good morning everyone i punar bhatia extend a warm welcome to everyone on this pleasant morning today i feel specially privileged to welcome our all special guests our school directors mr hardeep bakshi and mrs monita bakshi principal seedling modern public school mrs kriti makhan members of the management and other distinguished guests judges parents and participants to our event for the day thank you very much for joining us today as it is the object of a general to win battles so it is the life work of an artist to show himself to us and the completeness with which he reveals his own individuality is perhaps the best measure of his genius writes frank harris in his biography of shakespeare shakespeare the legendary playwright poet and actor is popularly known as the bard of avon the greatest dramatist and writer of the english language his works touch almost all aspects of life love grief jealousy magic and mystery and his plays romeo and juliet macbeth hamlet julius caesar the comedy of errors and others are still relevant and appreciated even today shakespeare was also undoubtedly one of the most promising and skillful user of soliloquy a long and uninterrupted speech by a character's internal thoughts and feelings we at seedling the world school have gathered together today to pay our tributes to him in this month which observes both his birth and death anniversary to begin our competition for the day shakespeare soliloquy i would like to introduce our judges on the panel we are happy to have with us ms priya darshini gauri an advocate with the delhi bar council and an indian patent agent she loves reading and reviews books for pleasure app at the rate mock paper screens on instagram a very warm welcome ma'am thank you so much happy to be here next on the panel is ms vibha chaturvedi who has worked as an english professor with mg medical college jaipur professor and hod biyane college jaipur and other colleges she loves traveling and teaching and has traveled extensively in many parts of the world she has also visited the shakespeare center stratford upon avon a very warm welcome ma'am thank you thank you so much good morning to all we also have with us ms meena chaturvedi majboor marketing lead with the indus enterprises has been associated with the corporate world and has a close proximity with the dynamic and exciting world startups ms meena is alumnus of gargi college delhi university and an mba from imt dubai she likes reading about management travel health and lifestyle very happy to welcome you ma'am thank you all the best to everybody thanks for having us thank you so much judges for joining us today i now request the principal seedling the world school ms rashi rorki to welcome us with a virtual bouquet good morning good morning uh, meenal ma'am good morning vibha ma'am good morning uh, priyadarshini ma'am morning hardeep sir morning uh, monita ma'am good morning kirti makan ma'am it's just a small virtual bouquet for all of you very very happy to have you on board with us and a lot of gratitude for accepting our invitation and being here today morning to encourage our children heartfelt gratitude for this gesture hearty welcome to seedling thank you so much our pleasure ma'am thank you time thank you so much ma'am the excitement has built up so let's get started
May I remind the participants that they will be judged on the basis of voice and articulation, dramatic appropriateness, and overall performance. Our doubts are tracer, traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. So let's begin confidently without any fear, all good wishes to each one of you. Coming up first is Aditi Jain of grade nine as Brutus from Good morning everyone. So this is Aditi Kodhari from ninth class of grade and uh, I'm going to act like a Brutus from the Julius Caesar speech. Romans, countrymen, and lovers, hear me for my cause and be silent that you may hear. For my own, believe me for my honor and have respect to my honor that you may believe. Send to me no wisdom and awake your senses that you may the better judge. If there any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's, to him I say that Brutus' love to Caesar was no less than his. If then that friend demands why Brutus rose against Caesar. This is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but I love Rome more. I'd rather that Caesar were living to die all slaves than that Caesar were dead to live all free men. As Caesar loved me, I weep for him. As he was fortunate, I rejoice at it. As he was valiant, I honor him. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. There are tears for his love, joy for his fortune, honor for his failure and death for his ambition. Who is your so wild? Who is your so base that would be a born man? When you speak, for him have I offended. Who is your so rude that would not be a Roman? If any speak, for him have I offended. Who is your so wild that would not love his country? If any speak, for him have I offended. I pause for a reply. Thank you. Thank you, Aditi. You have set the tone for the day. We now have Amitot Singh of grade 9 coming up as Shylock from the Merchant of Venice. Good morning, everyone. I am Amitot Singh from grade 9 and I am now presenting Merchant of Venice, Shylock character. Uh, to bite fish with all. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He had displaced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, pulled my friends, hated my enemies, and what's his reason? I am a Jew, had my Jew eyes, had my Jew hands, organs, senses, affections, passions, dimensions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same disease, healed with the same means, Warm and pulled by the summer and winter as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you wrong us, shall we not revenge? And if you poison us, do we not die? If we are like you in the dress, we will resemble you in that. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what's his humility? Revenge, if a Christian wrong a Jew. What should his sufferings be by a Christian example? Why revenge? The villainy you teach me, I'll execute, and it shall go hard, but I will better the instruction. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Punar, uh, dear judges, uh, we will pause for, say, 10 seconds after every performance or after every two performances so that you have time to analyze and, you know, judge the performances at a comfortable pace. Is it all right? Oh, sure. Yeah. Honar, please take a note. Just pause, give a pause in between performances so that there is enough time for the judges to record the marks. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Over to you, Honar. Wonderful, Amitosh. Thank you. The next participant is Anik Singh of grade 9 as Jax from As You Like It. Good morning everyone. I am Anik Singh from grade 9 CAI and I am going to present 7 ages of men in front of you. All the worlds are stage and all men. 
and women are morally players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many important parts. His act being seven ages. At first, the infant mewling and puking into nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy with a satchel and shiny morning face creeping like a snail unwillingly to school, and then the uh, lover sighing like furnace with a waffle ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. Then a soldier full of strange oaths, bearded like a part, jealous in honor, quick and sudden in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then the uh, justice with a cap and line and a fair round belly. With, with her cap in line and fair round belly and uh, and bearded of uh, and beard of formal cut and eyes of sever what happened anik Anik, is everything all right? Anik, are you there, Bitte? Very truly said, Anik. Thank you. Now I invite Arvriman Palipal of grade 8 as Iago from Othello. Good morning everyone. My name is Arman Palival from grade 8. I am performing Othello by William Shakespeare. I had rather have this tongue cut from my mouth than it should do offense to my seal. Yet I persuade myself to speak the truth. Shall nothing wrong in, thus it is general. Montana and myself lean in speech. There comes a fellow crying out for help and Cassio following him with a determined sword to execute upon him. So this gentleman steps into Cassio and entreats his pause. Myself, the crying fellow did pursue, pleased by his clamor. As it so fell out, the town might fall in fright. He swept a foot, outran my purpose, and I returned the rather. For that, I heard the clink and follow swords and Cassio high in oath, which still tonight and never might sin for. When I come back, for this was brief, I found them close together, at blow and thrust, even as again they were. When you yourself did part them, more of this matter cannot I report. But men are men, the best sometimes forget. Though Cassio did some little wrong to him, as men in rage try those that wish them best. Yet surely Cassio, I believe, received from him that fled some strange indignity which patients could not pass. Thank you. Interesting, Arriman. Thank you. Deva Bakshi of grade 9 is the next contestant. He's Brutus from Julius Caesar. Good morning, everyone. I'm Deva Bakshi and I'm performing Brutus from Julius Caesar. Romans, countrymen, and lovers, hear me for my cause and be silent that you may hear. Believe me for my honor and have respect to my honor that you may believe. Censure me in your wisdom and awake your senses that you may be the better judge. If there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's, to him I say that Brutus' love to Caesar was no less than. If then thy friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, this is my answer. Know that I love Caesar less, but that I loved Rome more. As Caesar loved me, I weep for him. As he was fortunate, I rejoice at him. As he was valiant, I honor him. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. There are tears for his love. Joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, and death 
for his ambition. Who is here so base that would be a bond man? And if any, speak. For him are we offended? Who is here so rude that will not be a rude? And if any, speak. For him are we offended? Who is here so wise that would not love his country? And if any, speak. For him are we offended? I pause for the reply. Thank you. Thank you, Devak. You brought Brutus alive. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. I would now love, like to invite Isha Chaturvedi of Grade 9 as our dear lady mapper. Good morning, everyone. My name is Isha Chaturvedi from, from the ninth grade, and today I will be performing as Lady Macbeth. <clears throat> O oh, King Macbeth, a demon you became. Remember when we fell in deepest love? Oh, be upon it. Go with thee hence, Macbeth. You are a monster lurking in the night. Now who is thy next victim, cruel Macbeth? Oh, murder me. Oh, slit my damn throat. The water killer not the man I loved. Where art thou, King Macbeth? Macbeth? Macbeth. Darkness covers and protects Macbeth. <sighs> or dost thou feel the creeping guilt and shame? <sighs> Macbeth cannot permit himself to look me in the eyes. Avoid me now, thou dost. Hath I become unworthy of your gaze? Though worship thy disgusting witches pay, the witches planted evil in thy head. In the foretelling, thou became absorbed. I knew, dear, I dust not now. Thou should be conquered very soon, Macbeth. And once thou art, shall we walk together in hell? Thank you. So well performed, Isha. Well said. Following her is Karun Nyabishnoi, also from grade 9, as Macbeth. Good morning, everyone. I, Karun Nyabishnoi, of grade 9, going to represent is this dagger which I see before me from Macbeth? Dagger which I see before me, the handle towards my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. I have the knot, and yet see thee still. Art thou not fatal visions, sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of mine, false creation, profiting from the heat of rest brain? I see thee yet. Or else, my eyes are made the fools for the other senses. Or as for all the rest, I see the earth. And on the blade and written guts of blood, which was not so before. This is the bloody business which informs us to my eyes. There's no such thing. Now over the one half nature seems dead and with dreams abuse. Alarmed by his sentinel, the wolf whose house is watch. Thank you. That was nice, Karunya. Nandini, our next participant, is unable to join as she is not well. Judges, do please make a note. Uh, dear judges, this is just to inform you, unfortunately, Nandini and her entire family is tested corona positive. Nandini was not keeping well, still she was completely available with us for practices and she was performing Cleopatra. 
but uh, today i think the situation is not great and she is not uh, in a position to you know perform so uh, it, it was a wonderful performance certainly what she was doing what we were observing in the practices but uh, kindly make a note that she won't be able to join us because of her illness thank you the next participant i would like to invite is part bolia from grade 9 as iago from othello good morning everyone my name is part bolia i am from grade 9 and today i would be performing othello by william shakespeare I had rather have this tongue cut from my mouth than I should do offense to Michael Cassio. Yet, I pursued myself to speak the truth. Shall nothing wrong him, thus it is children. Montano and myself being in speech, there comes a fellow crying out for help. And Cassio, following him with a determined sword, to execute upon him. So, this gentleman steps into Cassio and entreats his pause. Myself, the crying uh, fellow, did pursue. Let's buy his limo, as it so felt out. The town might fall in fight. He stripped off foot, outran my purpose, and returned the rather. For that, I heard the clink and fall of swords, and Cassio, high in oath, which, which till tonight. I never might say before, when I came back, for this was brief. I found them close together, and blow and thrust, even as again they were, when you yourself did part them. More of this matter cannot I report. But men are men. The best sometimes forget. To Cassio did some little wrong to him. As man and race strike those that wish them best. Yes, surely Cassio, I believe, I received from him that fled some strange indignity which patience could not pass. Thank you. Very good, Pat. Thank you. Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. Judges, sure, you're having a tough task. And now I call upon Raj Simha Singh Saluja of grade 9, as a Mark Antony from Julius Caesar. Good morning, everyone. I, Raj Simha Singh Saluja, is uh, from grade 9, is going to perform Mark Antony from Julius Caesar. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears, I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus, had told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault. And grievously, as Caesar answered him, here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men. Come on to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He had brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, Caesar had wealth. Ambition should be made of sternest stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see. That on the lubricant, I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus says he was ambitious. And sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know. You all did love him, Hans, not without cause. What cause withholds you then? To mourn for him? O judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it comes back to me. Thank you.
So well spoken, Simmer. Thank you. Next on the list is Rushab Doshi of Grade 9 as Othello himself. Hello, ma'am. Hey, Rusha, but your camera is not turned on, beta. Um, can I join from another device? It is again coming and not start video. Doubling you? Okay, okay. Georgia Mehta from grade 8 as Brutus from Julius Caesar. Good morning, everyone. My name is Georgia Mehta and I'm from grade 8. I'm performing Brutus from Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Romans, countrymen, and lovers, hear me for my cause and be silent that you may hear. Believe me for my honor and have respect for my honor that you may believe. Censure me in your wisdom. Awake your senses that you may the better judge. If there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's. To him, I say that Brutus's love to Caesar was no less than his. If then that friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, then this is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but that I love Rome more. Had you rather Caesar were living and died all slaves, then that Caesar were dead dead to live all free men as caesar loved me i weep for him as he was fortunate i rejoice him as he was willing i honor him but as he was ambitious i slew him there is tears for his love joy for his fortune honor for his valor and death for his ambition who is your so base that would be a bondman. If any speak for him, have I offended? Who is here so rude that would not be a Roman? If any speak for him, have I offended? Who is here so idle that would not love his country? If any speak for him, have I offended? I pause for a reply. Thank you. Moving performance, Shaurya. Thank you. Now I call upon the last, certainly not the least contestant for today. What's his Sharma, grade 8, as Shiloh? Hello, ma'am. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Vatsa Sharma from grade 8, and today I'm going to be performing Shylock by William Shakespeare. To bait fish with all, if it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He had disgraced me and hindered me. Half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation and hated my enemies. And what's his reason? That I am a Jew? Hath, hath not Jew eyes? Hath not Jew hands? Affections, dimensions, passions. Fed with the same food. Hurt with the same weapons subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what should his sufferings be by a Christian example? By revenge. The villainy you teach me, I will execute and shall go hard, but I will better the instruction. Thank you. Very well portrayed, Watson. Punar, uh, is uh, Rusha back? Just let's check. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I'm back. So next on the list is Rushab Doshi of grade 9 as Othello himself. 
Good morning, everyone. I'm Rishabh Doshi of Grade Nine, and today I'm performing the character of Othello. It is the cause. It is the cause, my soul. Let me not name it to you. You chase stars. It is the cause. Yet, I not shed her blood, nor scar the whiter skin of hers than snow, and smooth as monumental alabaster. Yet she must die, else she'll betray more men. Put out the light, and then put out the light. If I quench thee, the flaming minister, I can again thy former light bestow. Should I repent me? But once put out thy light. The cunning Spartan of excelling nature. I know not where is that promising heat that can die light bloom. When I have flung the rose, I cannot give it wider growth again. It must needs wither. I smell it on the tree. Ah, balmy breath. That dost almost persuade justice to break her salt. One more, one more. Be thus when thou art dead. And I will kill thee and love thee after. One more, and this the last. So sweet was never so fatal. I must weep, but they are cruel tears. This sorrow suddenly it strikes where it does love. She wakes. Thank you. What a character, Rusha. Thank you. That was wonderful. How far that little candle throws its beams, so shines a good deed in a naughty world. Thank you so much, everyone. Indeed, it was wonderful listening to all of you. I feel so inspired myself to delve deeper into Shakespeare plays now. Believe me, starting from today, I'm going to read Shakespeare's plays. May I request the judges to share their expert comments and views on the competition? Ms. Priya Darshini Gaudi, please. Hello? Hello? Hi, yes, hi, ma'am. We can hear can you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. That's great. This is such a wonderful uh, competition and such a nice breather from, you know, uh, what's happening in the world right now, especially in our country. And I'm so glad to join. And the kids were so enthusiastic. And uh, some of the performances were very, very good. So um, what would you like me to do? I mean, do you want an individual assessment or... Uh, Ma'am, uh, just want uh, you, since we'll be declaring the results tomorrow, so, okay. uh, yeah, as judge, how did you feel about the competition? These were students of grades 8 and 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I'm aware uh, of that. Yeah, so, so any, any, your feedback on the overall performance, the, the ways you feel that children can further improve, you know, because it was the very first time Shakespeare was being done. So your yeah, suggestions, your feedback, your observations, we'll be very, very happy to hear from you. Yeah. I mean, uh, for uh, class eight and nine students, these are very big words. And these, the emotions are uh, something that they haven't experienced in their lives as yet. And still, uh, a lot of you were able to understand the emotions behind uh, you know, uh, Shakespeare's stories. And uh, I think you've all done wonderfully. And uh, I would just say read more and uh, watch more uh, theater or uh, movies. You know, that, that way you'll be able to improve how to uh, maybe uh, deliver the dialogues a lot better. Maybe you'll get that expression, but that comes with life. And, uh, you know, even without that, you've done wonderfully. And uh, I congratulate and commend you all.
thank you so much ma'am thank you for your kind words certainly there is no substitute to reading i completely concur with you thank you so much ma'am uh, honor so, over to you thank you so much ma'am so kind of you i request ma'am vibha chaturvedi to share her views hello i can't start my video because the host just disabled me ma'am i'll just get it done file ma'am could you please see sure. done ma'am okay great please okay. try ma'am all right yeah okay yes ma'am it's done yeah uh to begin with congratulations all of you the teachers students and everyone each one of you have put in your best efforts to make this program successful i must compliment the students for taking the efforts of making efforts to wear the dresses which uh, were worn during shakespeare's time in the 16th century and learning the dialogues so well the monologues were too good so saleluki is has been the uh, forte of shakespeare and uh, it has been justified very well by the students some of the students really did too well i must say i loved lady macbeth and the shylock from merchant of venice others have also done very very well i must congratulate you compliment you for the best efforts that you have put in thank you thank you so much ma'am that was so nice of you now i would like to request ma'am meena chaturvedi to share her feedback and comments i uh firstly thank you for having us uh, here today uh, we we were transported into the times of shakespeare uh, it's it's a very good initiative uh, i remember when we were in school uh, we used to do this too so it's it's uh, great to go back in time and it's this is tough i mean uh, like pradarshini rightly pointed out all these words these are we get a mouthful and we can't say things uh, which shakespeare wrote so it's amazing the effort pulled off by the students by the teachers and i'm sure the parents had a lot to do as well with the costumes etc so um uh some good advice you've already got but yeah keep reading uh, uh it seemed as if i was watching a netflix uh, show but yeah in parts like a bit bit of this and bit of that so you guys did a very good job some were uh, some students were exceptionally good uh, indeed and others uh, you can uh, fuck up you can do as well so enjoy yourself and keep reading bye bye thank you thank you so much minal ma'am Thank you so much ma'am for appreciating us so much. It's always a pleasure to hear a director sir Mr Hardeep Bakshi. May I now request him to speak a few words of encouragement and inspiration. Uh to begin with I would like to thank Ms Meenal Ms Priyadarshini and Ms Chaturvedi for uh, being our judges on the panel. When Ms Meenal told me that uh, Pradeshi ma'am is a avid reader herself and a lawyer by profession, I think that was the best thing to have her on the panel. And uh, Ms Chaturvedi always visits the Shakespeare uh, Museum, and she's well read herself and travelled. So I think we had the best decision to have the judges on the panel. And rightly, like Ms Meenal said, that a lot of good effort by the parents definitely as well. It's always the parents and the school who go together hand in hand. So the parents definitely put in a good effort, and the students. Yes, they worked hard, and yesterday I was telling my in charge that I was from CBC. So these kids are lucky. We we just had heard about you know Shakespeare, never did any plays or never had the opportunity to read his uh, plays, and I never knew that he was Jew. Today, first time we know about it. So I think it's a good exposure and a good effort by the staff and the parents of Sydney World School. 
So a big round of applause for all the students, the parents and the staff and the judges as well. Thank you so much for giving your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I now request Rashima to propose the vote of thanks and close the proceedings for the day. Thank you so much, Hunar. Thanks a lot. Uh, today is actually a very special day. It's the culmination of the three-day event that we did for Shakespeare. So the first day was poetry recitation for grades four and five. The next day was, yesterday was sonnet recitation by grades six and seven. And today was salilakwi by grades eight and nine. about Shakespeare, the way we want our children to understand and be attached to the classics. And uh, thank you, Hadeep, sir. You have uh, helped us to you know, perform to the level, the, the motivation you gave us, the backing that has come from uh, Monita ma'am, Makan ma'am, phenomenal. And we have been really, uh, you know, the, the, the entire spree, the school had seen that uh, celebration of Shakespeare, everybody was involved. So thank you everyone for this. My heartfelt gratitude to all the three judges and uh, the time they have spared to witness the competition the valuable words of advice that have come from you. And I absolutely concur with all that reading, there is no substitute to reading. Um, parents have taken a lot of pain. I can just share it with you the, the entire, from late evening till night even, almost 11, 11.30, I was getting pictures of the children, parents dressing them up, trying to show, okay, how they will look, ma'am. Is there anything else that we need to do? So a big, big round of applause to the parents because certainly the amount of effort you have taken is uh, significant, has been instrumental in bringing this event to this level. Teachers for sure, Madhulika ma'am, Shreya ma'am, Payal ma'am, Surya ma'am, for that matter, all of us who have worked so much to make this event possible despite the limitations of online and everything i mean it, it is quite justified and last but not the least my ultimate heroes are my students all this could not have been possible had they not taken the spirit in the stride and performed to the level i completely understand remembering shakespeare is a herculean task it is so very difficult but they remembered it they have gone through a lot of videos to understand what the play is all about. They have then entered into the shoes of the character. So this, this shows that the complete team, Seedling the World School is all about being innovative, is all about being taken the uh, you know, step forward, is all about being exceptionally good. Kudos to everyone, kudos to children and children you have set the stage on fire, you have already robbed, you have raise the bar so there's no looking back and i promise judges and the management that we will keep surprising you with more of such things in the future thank you so much thank you for sparing your while it was wonderful having all of you there thank you now can i request everyone to turn on their cameras and uh, maybe have a nice group photograph everyone Payal ma'am, are you, uh, is everybody there? Yeah, uh, no ma'am, not everyone. I'm waiting for the others to turn on the camera, then I'll take a screenshot. Right. Okay. And uh, Hunar, you did a very good job. God bless you, child. Thank you Keep so much. Working hard. Yes, you did a good job. It's yes, all the for all of you too. Hunar, I must add, you spoke very well and very confidently without faltering and without really looking into the paper. That's a very good achievement. I'm proud of you, Bache. Keep going. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, Raj Simha, please turn on your video. And Priya Darshini, ma'am, can we have your video uh, turned on? Yeah, I'm not able to turn it on. Uh... Okay, okay ma'am. Just wait for a second. Uh, I think can we can you 
Rusha. Your video is also not on Rusha. Yeah, I think uh, almost all of them have turned it on. So, shall we take a screenshot? Karan, sir, will you be helping us? So, yeah. So let's do it yeah. at uh, three, two, one. Everybody, please say a big smiling E. <laughs> and here we go. Thank you. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much, Karan, sir. Your help has been tremendous for all these three days and even the practice sessions. Thanks a lot, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Always happy to help. Thank you. Uh, dear judges, uh, once you finish your judgment sheets, kindly WhatsApp them to me. So we'll be declaring the results tomorrow. And any special words of advice from your side that you would want us to convey to the children and work on them, you're more than, we'll be more than happy to have them from you.